Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I painted Alice from Alice in Wonderland. So first, I'm doing the outline of her face. To outline the face, I'm using black gel polish and a short, thin striping brush. Here, I'm filling in her color with a color that I mixed to create her skin. I mixed together a nude pinkish color along with a brown gel polish. I'm using a flat brush here just to contour the shape of her chin. Now I'm going in with a second layer of her skin color. And in fact, I actually do this three times so I can get a good solid foundation so to speak for her face color I'm using the same short thin striping brush as I find it to be easier to use when you're doing such small details. You can also see while I was doing her face, I was also constructing her neck. Then here I am again, just utilizing that flat brush to define her chin. So now I'm going to begin drawing the details of her face, starting with her nose, then I'll construct her eyes, and then I'll do her lips. As you can see here, I'm starting to construct her eyelashes. I kind of made a mistake and made one of them too long, but then I went on ahead and kept it because I was thinking girls today, they have long bushy eyelashes anyway, so I just left it. And if you guys notice, to do the details in the face, I actually use a shorter, thinner line brush. 
and it's actually not a nail brush it's a craft art brush that I got from Michaels so what I'm doing here I'm just extending out her forehead because I realized I had to make space for her hair as well as her eyebrows and I did not want her hairline to be so close to her eyebrows. So what I'm doing now is painting her clothes. Earlier, I started to paint her collar in a blue, and pretty much what I did was I used the same blue for her eyes and just mixed it with white to make it a little bit brighter. And then I'm using the white to paint the outside of her dress. As you'll see throughout this video, I went in with four layers of the white, but I didn't do it all at the same time. Um, when I first constructed it, I did three layers, and then you'll see me go back in later on just to do a touch up with a fourth layer. Here, I'm painting her sleeves. And here I'm just defining her collar. So what I'm doing now, I'm going in with black and I'm just outlining everything just to make the drawing pop. So now what I'm going to do is take brown gel polish and just kind of create a jawline, her eyebrows, and then I'm just going to go under her eyes just to help define her eyes a little more. And this is where I do that fourth touch up with the white, you know, just to cover up any mistakes, um, define lines, and just make the final look pop. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint her hair in. And what I did for her hair, I actually mixed two different yellows. One was kind of a neon type of yellow and the other color was more of just like a bright yellow. But I mixed them both um, to get the effect for the color of her hair. So while coloring her hair, I actually had to do about four layers of the yellow. And the reason is because I had difficulty covering that black line. Later on in the video, you'll see how I corrected it, but I will recommend not doing that black line or correcting it first before you start painting in the yellow. 
So to correct that black line, what I did was I took white gel polish, covered it up, and then I went back in with the yellow um, to cover the white. But then when I did that, I noticed that when I covered up the white with the yellow, it kind of made the neon part of the yellow stand out a little bit more. So I had to go back in with a layer of just the darker yellow color, the more bright one. And um, that's kind of how I finished her hair off. So this is me going in with that darker yellow and as you can see it's starting to cover up that white and everything is blending all together. I will admit doing the hair took me way longer than I wanted and expected but definitely if I do this again I know what I will not do so that I can draw her a little faster. So after I was done painting in her hair, I took black gel polish and I kind of outlined her hair, her hairline. Um, if you recall, Alice in Wonderland has a black band in her hair. So I kind of just did all those little final details just to make her look more animated and pop. Now she is all done. Thank you so much for watching.